Hey guys, welcome to my channel AI Simplified. In today's video, we will be looking into how to create a storage account in Microsoft Azure and connect it to the storage explorer in your system. So let's search for Azure portal. And then you click here and then it will take you to your portal if you don't if it's your first time you can create a azure account and let me know in comment section if you want me to create a video for that for the first time users they also get two two hundred dollar free credit to learn about azure then you go here and search for a storage accounts and once you click it will take you to this page and right now you see i don't have a storage account so next step is to cl click this button create a storage account but my personal recommendation is to go to this azure page check for azure pricing so you can click here learn more then you go to the pricing and you can see that there are like a lot of things but what we are going to use is storage accounts and then you can see the pricing for this and here you can see that this is premium the rest of them are standard for the standard hot cool archive the pricing is for the first 50 terabytes 0.18 per gb 0.0 one eight per GB. These hot cool and archive is just like how much you want to access your data. Here you can see. Yeah, I, I mean you can read about it, but it's not mentioned here. Yeah. So it's just how much you want to access your data and like archive is like archive data. You don't, don't need access like every day. Cool is like maybe lesser and then yeah, hot is like if you want to have it access like very frequently. So let's go back to this page and click create a storage account. Then you have to select a subscription that's there always then you have like that's your billing account connection then you can select a resource group like i am here already here had a new resource you can also do a create new just by typing a name so resources group link is like a combining multiple resources together like logic apps you know you can have multiple customers and for every customer you can have one resource group where you can have like logic apps storage accounts and yeah and other services uh, combined together then for the storage account name i will let's say first tutorial account and give it a number as 25 then select the region where you want to have the account somewhere in north europe i want the standard and then there is like how much you want uh, the data to be available so right now on default it's geo redundant storage you know that you have a in case of a failover you have the data in a secondary region but just a tutorial i will just keep it to lrs then here you can just do review and like you know publish uh, your like you know deploy your storage account but let's quickly go to the other options that we have so my suggestion is for this tutorial video to leave it in the default setting but here you can see the security data log storage blob storage if you want to have sftp access to the blob storage here you can choose the access tier but for tutorial let's say we need cool because you can see the price difference is not much but yeah so i want a cool infrequently accessed data and backup scenario and then i just want to go to networking i want my storage account to be enabled for public access right and then yeah and then the data protection and encryption some text that you want to give like you know uh, in a resource group if you want to divide the services differently then you can also you know 
do some name value pairs then we go to the review and from here we just you see here it says running final validation once it's complete if it shows an error you can see the error otherwise it's just say create and it's going to do the initial deployment and it takes two three minutes to do the deployment here you can see in the notification that the deployment is in progress and once it's done you can see a go to yeah so here it will say save once it's complete go to resource or we can also go it from storage accounts and can see this resource but let's so it says go to resource we are on the resource and this is our tutorial account that we created now here if you go into the data storage you can see in this menu on your right in the data storage that you have containers file shares queues and tables so you can create a container like test one and i want it to be publicly accessible so once you do then you have a new test one and you can create a upload a file from here like this but for I also want to show you how to connect it to your locally from your how can you access it from your system so let's go back to storage accounts this one and here in the right in the left menu you can go to storage browser and you can do a download storage browser select operating system whichever you are using and yeah download it install it that's fine but i have already downloaded it so i'm just gonna click open as your storage accelerator and it opens this once it's open you can go to this connect dialog and here you can select that i want to connect to a storage service or only to a container queue table whatever you want i want to connect to a storage account or service then i want to connect it using a shared access url now you can go to this shared access signature and you can see i want to do everything allowed resource type services container objects and it says that it's valid for the tomorrow yeah for like tonight till tonight and like yeah it depending on how much you want to have like giving this access to it you can just give the time for tutorial it's fine and once you click the generate uh, sas and connection string then you can go to this uh, file service url because here it's asked for service url copy this paste it here and it's my tutorial account 25 next and connect and then you can see that it's already connected and you can see this container share tables and here you have test one the same container that we created now now i'm going to show you how to create a let's create a new folder here test let's call it test folder then and in this test folder and now i want to upload so you are, can see that it's already on inside the test folder i can go back and upload files here so now i'm gonna just upload some random file on my desktop say this one and i'm gonna say upload and here i am saying it's a cool let's do it archive and upload then it's saying it's transferring the file and it's done and you can see it's available here and same here you can go here to the test and you can find that the file is uploaded here all right
and this is how you connect your storage account to your Microsoft Azure Storage Explorer in your system and how you can upload files to this cloud. In the upcoming video, we will be doing a logic app to save Outlook attachments to this account. So stay tuned and thanks for watching. Do like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys.